So in this video, we're going to talk about arranging rational numbers on a number line. So let's say, for example, we're going to arrange the rational numbers on a number line. So we have these rational numbers, 1 half, negative 1 half, negative 1 third, 1 and 2 fifths, and negative 5 fourths. And we're going to arrange it in this number line. So the one half is uh, moved here. It's in between exactly zero and one, and it, it's positive. We have to consider the the sign. So it's positive. So it's at the right side of zero. So and it's one half. So obviously it's in between zero and one. Now the second one is negative. It's at the left side of zero, and it's negative one half. So it's in between 0 and 1 because it's 1 half. It's exactly in between 0 and 1. So that's why it's there. Now we have negative 1 third. It's in around in between negative 1 half and 0. So you might wonder why negative 1 third is at the right side of negative 1 half. Uh, because uh, if the denominator is bigger, that means it's closer to 0. Okay, so obviously it's on the left side of, of 0 because it's negative. But it is uh, at the right side of negative 1 half because uh, it, the denominator is bigger than uh, 1 half. Okay, so it's 3. It's bigger than 2. So the bigger the denominator, the, it is closer to 0. Now next is 1 and 2 fifth, which is actually a positive number, so it's at the right side of 0. And obviously it's more than 1, positive 1, because it's 1 and 2 fifths. So it's at uh, the right side of 1, positive 1. And it's 2 fifths, so it's around at the middle of 1 and 2, but it's not exactly in the middle, because the middle must be around 2.5 of uh, over 5, but it's 2, 2 fifths, so it's near the middle. So that's why we uh, place it there. So what we're doing is just an estimated uh, position in the number line. Now next is negative 5 fourths. So you might wonder why we put it there. Obviously it's negative number. So it's at the left side of 0. And it's also it's at the left side of negative 1. Because negative 5 fourths, if we convert that into mix, it's negative 1 and 1 fourth. So it's negative 1, so that means there's extra negative 1 fourth, so it's at the left side of negative 1, negative 1. So it's negative 1 and then 1 fourth. Okay, so it's exactly 1 fourth from the distance going to negative 2. So it's negative 1 and 1 fourth. So that's why if there are improper fractions, you better convert it into a mixed form first so that it's easier for you to know its uh, value. Thanks for watching and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button and write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.